Hi and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Vince. Thanks for stopping by. You're very welcome indeed. So I received a request for another website review, uh, but before we get into it, I'll just warn you that during the review, I say one thing in particular that you will not believe. And trust me, when I worked out what I was going to say, I didn't believe it. I still don't believe it. Uh, but you'll see it with your own eyes um, and you still won't believe it. That said, I'm waiting for someone to watch the video, look at what I've said and comment and say, you've got it completely wrong. This is actually what it is. Um, if no one does, what, what this website will show us is absolutely unbelievable. So without further ado, let's jump in and look at this particular website review. So the company we're going to look at today is iHealth Global. And this is a company with an address in California. Uh, I chose this because of this specific comment. Uh, this was made on a previous video. Uh, just note the commenter's name or their logo is just a Chinese character. A little bit more on that later. So without further ado, let's jump into iHealth Global's website. So here we are. This is the home page uh, and let's scroll down to the bottom and we can see here that they've got an address in El Monte, California. So how long has, has iHealth Global been up and running? And according to name.com, this site has been up since 2019, August 2019, so about a year. Uh, I remember, as I've said before, new isn't necessarily bad, it just means new. For example, on the 15th of February 2006, YouTube was only a year old. Uh, at the moment, they're still doing quite well. So on first sight, this looks like a professionally designed website. Um, I'm not sure I like the grey and the beige, the brownish colour scheme. Looks a bit old and boring to me. Let me know what you think. Uh, we've got a free phone number here for US customers. It's nice for them. Uh, all in all, nice artwork. NMN Coffee, longevity in a cup more on that later so i think generally this home page looks professionally designed <clears throat> but remember the vitamondo site we looked at was also very good uh, but that turned out just to be an aliexpress drop shipping site um, so will this nmn supplier turn out to be a diamond or will it be a fugazi only time will tell so let's press on with the rest of the website so the first thing we we'll look at is the About tab, and you can see that they've got two boards, an executive management team and a scientific advisory board. Uh, now, I will leave a link in the description below so that you can read their bios in more detail at your own convenience. But all in all, uh, these people appear to be very highly qualified and experienced. Uh, I'm not sure if people get paid for sitting on these kind of boards and if they do get paid for sitting on these kind of boards how much are they expected to attract with regard to salary uh, there's seven of them so it could be quite a high number does anyone know how much board members would make in a company like this i'd be interested to know so if you do know we have a rough idea if you could leave um, the number in the comments below that'd be much appreciated so let's look at the contact and languages page I won't spend too much time here. The contact page, suffice to say, is exactly what you'd expect on it. Uh, the language pages offers Chinese traditional and Chinese simplified. Um, and Jennifer Schmidt, who's a member of the executive management team, spent 21 years in Taiwan uh, and is fluent in Mandarin Chinese. So she may have had something to do with the Chinese pages. Um, I'm wondering if this may be a niche that this company is trying to exploit. If you remember the person who asked for the, the website review to be done, um, they had a Chinese character as their icon on YouTube. So I wonder if they're just trying to char target Chinese people. Uh, and I say niche, 1.4 billion Chinese people is a pretty big niche. The other thing I noticed is that when you navigate the Chinese site, it only shows you the scientific advisory board they don't list the executive management team, only this board. I was wondering why that was. This is obviously a deliberate omission. I wonder why they only show the executive management team on the English version of the site. 
Um, would anyone like to hazard a guess? I'd be interested to know. Uh, let me know in the comments below. So for the website, general feel, general look, use of navigation, I think it's a very good site. I, I really do like it. Um, so the score I would give is 9 out of 10. So let's take a look at their certificate of assay or their certificate of purity. If we move here to uh, products, we can see that their NMN product is called NMN Gene Balance. And you can see here all these details pretty much ex is what you'd expect to find on any NMN supplier's website. Uh, so let's click on buy now. And we'll go to that product page. And if we scroll down to supplement facts, we can see here that they're claiming 99.8% purity, which is which is very, very good indeed. So I do like that. Uh, it also says, however, grade one. And as we know from previous videos, there is no official grade or standard for NMN. NMN is NMN. It only varies in purity. That said, this is extremely pure. Um, so instead of writing grade one, you could write ultra mega, tremendous, super duper, you can't bend it, you can't break it, pure pharmaceutical grade NMN. It means absolutely nothing. It just means that this NMN is 99.8% pure, which is extremely pure. Uh, now I've scoured the whole of these, these uh, website pages and I cannot find a third party test certificate that proves that this NMN is 99.8% pure. Nothing from Intertech or MicroQuality Labs. Not even a Chinese certificate supplied by the first party supplier as Vitamondo did. Uh, you can also see other ingredients here and they've got lactose, microcrystalline cellulose, magnesium stearate and it's a vegan capsule. So even if you sent this for testing, you would not be able to know if the NMN that's mixed in with all of this, these other ingredients, was actually 99.8% pure. Um, so actually they could, put right, they could write 99.9% .9 here, or they could write 100% because they're not going to qualify that or show evidence of that, and you can't even go and try to find evidence or confirm it yourself. So unfortunately for um, certificate of purity or assay, I'm going to have to give this particular website a 0 out of 10. So onwards and upwards, let's take a look at cost. If we go back to this page, the product page, we can see that their gene balance NMN is $130 per bottle. Uh, if you scroll down here, we can see that there's 30 75 milligram capsules, which is a total of 2,250 milligrams or 2.25 grams. Now that works out at $57.77 a gram. So I'm gonna stop the video there so I can say that again. They are selling NMN with no third party test certificate, claiming 99.8% purity for $57.77 a gram. Now, when I worked that out first, I thought I got it wrong, and it was $5.70, and I'd misplaced the decimal point. And I did it three or four times, and I had to turn to my friend Steve, who's a bit of a whiz with figures, and ask him. And he said, no, it's $57.77 a gram. Just thought I'd, I'd clear that up in case you thought I misspoke. They're selling it for $57 a gram. Now, most companies are selling NMN, as we've discussed before, for between $4 and $5 a gram. This company is over a 1,000% more expensive. Uh, Do Not Age, at the moment, are selling their NMN for just under $4 a gram, but only just under. We might as well call it $4 a gram. Uh, but they're showing a third-party test certificate from MicroQuality Labs with a purity level of 98%. Uh, and it got me to thinking, is perhaps this highly inflated price a way that they can pay their management team and their scientific advisory board? Uh, because those salaries, if they do have them, have got to be paid from somewhere. 
So, uh, I'd be interested to know your comments. Let me know in the comments below if you think $130 um, for 2.2 grams is a lot. And let me know if you think maybe Steve and I have got our figures wrong and it's, it's not $57 a gram. So let's take a look at the NMN in coffee. This should be interesting. I haven't seen this before. And you can see there that it's $65 for one box. And if we scroll down to the facts, you'll see that each box contains 30 sachets. Uh, and when you add up these two figures, each sachet is 106.8 milligrams, which is the total in the box of 3,204 milligrams or 3.2 grams. Uh, of weight, not just NMN, that's weight. Uh, so that works out at $20.30 a gram for coffee and NMN. And if you look at this, more than 70% of that product that you're paying $20 a gram for is coffee. Now, if you wanted to take your NMN this way, you'd have to drink 40 cups of coffee a day. You wouldn't be sleeping at night, that's for sure, unless it was decaf. And um, by looking at this, it says caffeine other ingredient coffee this is not decaffeinated coffee now the FDA says two to four cups a day is okay so say you drank four cups of coffee a day would you take the time to measure out the remaining 900 milligrams if your goal was uh, one gram a day um, I certainly wouldn't uh, and if you're taking capsules and you're taking say for example 250 milligram capsules would you drink five cups a day and then take three capsules um, this product, to me, in my humble opinion, seems a bit pointless and more than a bit gimmicky. Um, it would be interesting to see how long it takes them to sell this batch and whether or not this batch goes on sale. And if they do sell it, whether or not they carry it again. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Is this a way that you would consider in taking your NMN on a daily basis? I'd be interested to see if, if I'm wildly out of my this product seems to be a waste of time and a waste of money. So with regard to cost for the NMN, the Gene Balance, and for the coffee, uh, the Gene Balance is $57 a gram, and the coffee is $20 something dollars a gram, of which 70% is not NMN. I'm afraid they're gonna score zero out of 10. Well, that was certainly an interesting website review. Uh, I've made the, the notes I normally do. Uh, I'll go through them as quickly as possible. So the website I thought was particularly good, easy to navigate, uh, a little bit slow at times, but again, I think that might've been my uh, internet connection. Um, bland color scheme, again, only my opinion. You may have liked the colors. The, the main thing really is, um, why is the executive management team not on the Chinese pages, it's only on the English pages. If someone could venture a reason why, I'd be interested to know that. Please let me know in the comments below. So certificates of purity, they're claiming 99.8. Can't find a single certificate anywhere on the site, so they might as well be claiming a million percent. So zero out of 10 for that. Cost, $57.77 a gram. This must be the most expensive uh, company I think I've ever found before selling NMN. If you found someone who's more expensive than this, please send me the link. I would be very interested to check that website out as well. Now, as an aside, I checked on the website earlier today, or checked on the internet earlier today, at the price of gold. Gold is trading at $58 a gram. So only a little bit more expensive than this company's NMN. So all in all, uh, the score for this, 9 out of 30. Let me know what you would have scored this website out of 30. I think this website is interesting, uh, very similar to Vitamondo, where although the website looks really good, all singing, all dancing, if you know what you're looking for and you dig a bit deeper, all is not what it seems. Um, we've got a saying in the UK, and I'm sure there's a similar one across the world, that says you can put lipstick on a pig, but it's still a pig. Um, I wouldn't spend $1,700 a month to have one gram of NMN a day. Even as, if this company did give me uh, a purity certificate that showed 99.9% .9 pure. Um, would you spend that amount of money per month just for NMN? Um, please let me know in the comments below 
what website you'd like me to review next. Uh, I have a large list and I do look at them quickly. What I'm trying to do is find specific websites that prove a specific point or can teach us a lesson. So Vitamondo looked like a good site. It was AliExpress dropshipping. This looks like a good site, but actually the price is insane uh, and for the coffee in the NMM, which is a gimmick as well. Uh, so let me know if there's any particular websites you'd like me to like me to review, and I will I will work through the list I've got. Well, that's it for today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you think Steve and I are widely out with our numbers. Um, if not, I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Take care, and bye for now.